Hi there. I'm Jeff Grover again, Chief Research Scientist here at Grover Group, and today I have a cart analysis. That's a classification and regression trees. Again, we will be using SPSS modeler, and as before, I already have a predetermined model established. It has a uh, Excel node, partition, 70% training, 30% testing, and it has the cart uh, node. So we'll run this, we'll create our default output, and then we'll bring in an analysis node uh, to determine the classification of percentages of this algorithm. We'll be using credit card default data and uh, we'll go to our stream, I already have that uh, made, and we'll bring in our Excel node and we'll right click on that and we'll bring in our data. Credit card default give it a chance to load look at the filters starts with the ID, limit, balance, sex, education, marital status, and you could read the remainder of those then it goes to the end with our default variable. Types. These are the types, continuous, categorical, etc. We will change this to record ID. And our last one should, default should be our target. So let's just check that and make sure. Regular ID, target, okay. We'll apply that. Now we have to read in the values. All right, our values are read in. We'll apply this and then we'll review the data. All right, so we have our data populated. Starts with our ID, limit balance, and you can read across the right, to the right. And on the right hand column, we have our default. All right, so we'll use that, and then the next thing we'll do is bring in our partition. Oh, we bring in our partition node, split it 70, 30. Is everything else the same? And now we'll bring in our cart. We'll configure our cart. We'll use all the variables with the default as the target, a dependent variable, and the remaining independent variables as predictors. We'll build it. This is our default objective. We'll use that. Basics, we'll use that. Chrome tree to avoid oversetting. Stopping rules, we'll use the default. Minimum two for the parent branch and minimum of one for the child branch. Cost of classifications, we will be using, we'll start with one in five, 
Let me make sure I'm correct here. So one and five. So this is, these are just the misclassification uh, costs. So this allows more opportunities of variability uh, in the model. We use in symbols uh, default and advanced default. All right, so we'll apply that. And so now we'll run it and see what we get. Okay, so we have some results. We'll bring in our analysis tab. We'll configure it. Okay, so four checks, output, annotations. One, two, three, four. We'll apply that and we'll run that. All right, so we have our classification matrix, uh, partitioning, training, and testing. So correct for the training, 67%, for the testing, six, uh, 65%, so they're close. So these are our uh, number counts. Uh, no, no, 1775. No, yes to 11. Yes, no, 926. And yes, yes, 564. And that's for our training. And the same logic applies for the testing. These, this is the performance evaluation of the uh, training and the testing and the evaluation matrix. All right, so that's, those are just some parameters you can use to gauge the efficiency of the model. And let's see our, what our trees look like. So the primary predictor is pay status one. and then pay status two, then the others are very minimal predictors. Here's our tree. And so, as we just saw the primary predictor of pay status one, and so this tree reads on the right hand side, if you're one month late, nothing due, and or on time, uh, then you are probably not going to be uh, default 80, 83% you're not 16 or 17% yes yes you will if you're two months late three months late four months late etc uh, then the probability of you defaulting is 69% so that's kind of logical 31% um, that you won't default so we'll continue down node two, and that bifurcates again. So uh, we go, we look at pay status two. If you're two months, three months, four months late, uh, then uh, you probably are not going to be uh, default. But if you're one month, five months, nothing due or on time, uh, then you're probably not going to be. Uh, default with 85%, but you may be uh, default at 14% uh, in node 6. If we go back to node 5, you may be default at 40%. And then we'll go down this trees using the same logic. If your pay amount previous is greater than 1645, uh, then these are the probabilities. You probably won't default. If it's less than or equal to 1645, then you're probably not going to default. And this bifurcates again. Bill amount, 
previous, if it's greater than 393, uh, then these uh, are the chances of, of uh, not defaulting at 82%, 17% yes. If it's less than or equal to 393, default 71% no, and 29% yes. And then the last node, limit balance, if it's greater than 95,000, uh, no is 89%, uh, yes is 10%, and if it's less than or equal to 95,000, then 77 and 22, respectively, no and yes. All right, so that's that first tree. So next, we're going to come in here and increase uh, the cost. So it was at one. We're going to put put it at five and reevaluate uh, reevaluate these trees and see what we get. We'll run it again. All right, so we'll look at our analysis. All right, so the same logic, training and testing, percent correct, 81, wrong, 18, training, uh, Coincidence matrix, conditioning, training, participating, uh, testing. These are our number counts. Evaluation, training, testing, and evaluation metrics, training, and testing. We'll look at our trees. All right. So pay status one is the largest predictor, and these other predictors one, two, three, four, five come in. Uh, as adding a little bit more value than what we saw before and that's uh, because we increased that cost of the classification so here are our trees so now we really only have a parent and two child notes so if the pay status pay status one if it's one month late nothing due or on time uh, the probability of default is 83% uh, and of not defaulting and 17% of defaulting. If it's two, three, four months late, then uh, node one says that uh, not defaulting is 31% and defaulting is 69%. So that's a wrap on the cart classification and regression trees. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, until then, we'll see you in the next series. Thank you. Have a great day.